Hi, today I'm going to um, talk about how to use the screen marker that is on all of the computers at our school. Um, so what is screen marker? A screen marker is an annotation tool for desktop. Now you may wonder why I am doing this um, presentation because we had just learned to use the annotation tool for the document camera. But here's the important thing to remember. The annotation tool on the ladybug can only work on the images captured by the document camera. So in other words, if you go online and you are demonstrating something to your student and you need a marker to mark on the screen, you cannot use the annotation tool in the document camera. Okay, so how does this annotation tool call, uh, work? It's, this one is called the screen marker. So let me exit out of my PowerPoint here and I will show you. On our desktop at the very bottom, you will see the taskbar. The taskbar is consisted of, um, here is the start button and other icons that you use frequently. On my computer, at this particular computer, the screen marker is right here. And to um, open it, you just have to click it. So here it is. As you can see, it pops up at the corner of my computer. I can click right here and move it wherever I like. Um, so now how do I use this? Let's say I want my level three to use the online um, ESL online lessons. So what I do is I tell my student, okay, everybody go to both website. Now I'm gonna bring that website up. And as you can see, this is my website. I'm gonna move the annotation tool right here so you can see. Um, and I will now demonstrate to my student. Most of the time I use this tool right here and that's the marker. If I click on the marker, I can write on the screen. Now we are not using Venture. We are not using Interchange or Learning Chocolate. My students are using Touchstone. So I might use the annotation tool to draw and point out as I'm demonstrating to them that they need to click on this one. Now to change, I just click at the cursor again and come here and I click Touchstone. And as you can see, now Touchstone is um, open. And now I continue using the annotation tool, but let, first let me erase. So as you can see, there is an eraser right there. I just click an eraser right here, and I can erase. If you want to erase everything and close, you click this button. If you want to, uh, and then this other button, erase everything on the screen. So let's go back here. Now, Touchstone has four books and my students are always confused and they always get stuck in, lo in, in book one. I don't want them to use book one so I pop up the annotation tool, click on the marker and I say, everybody, we are book two and as you can see, book two has this color right here and it's two. So please click book two. I would circle two and then I click on two and I said, see now our book is, is blue so now it's turned blue. And then I continue using the annotation tool to mark my screen as I give my student direction. So here I'm clicking the marker again, as you can see. And uh, I'm going to change color because you see the background is blue and I don't want blue. So I'm just going to click um, red here. And by the way, these are the markers or the lines width. You can change it by clicking on whatever width you like. So let's go back here and I said, everybody, we have just finished unit three. So I want you to review unit three by clicking this one, okay? So I go back to the cursor the, and then I say, okay, click here. So that's how I show my student. I can use the annotation tool and say, I want you to do this one only and then this one only. And when I'm done, I wanna close everything and just close this. So I hope you will use um, annotation tool, uh, it's called screen marker right here um, to um, annotate the screen on your desktop.